Hey, Marjorie. Come here. Hey. Oh, you have this big stick. Huge. Leave it. No, leave it. This is her stick. I cut it off of the rhododendron bush in the front yard last year. Yes, and she has been chewing on it ever since. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the DeHart House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty channel here on YouTube. Although today I'm going to be talking about the garden. Today is Saturday, February 11th. And I'm squinting because the sun is out. There are clouds in the sky. <laughs> but right now, uh, the sun is poking through those clouds and it feels really, really nice. It's in the low 40s, around 43 degrees Fahrenheit outside. There's a slight breeze, um, but soaking up the sunshine feels really nice. Anyway, it is the middle of February, so I'm going to give you a little tour of the garden. Um, spoilers, not much is different, but I am starting to see signs of life, which is very exciting. Um, also, I am recovering from, I don't, I don't know what, a cold or my allergies? I'm not sure, but this whole week I have just been suffering from sore throat, stuffy nose, stuffy sinuses, um, and so I'm still a little bit <clears throat> congested today. Um, so if I sound a little funny, that is why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on the mend. Uh, it's just been this slow, mild, dragged out thing over the course of a week so it's just been persistent and annoying but overall pretty mild thank goodness <laughs> and being outside uh taking in some fresh air and some sunshine is certainly helping me to feel a lot better so today i'm going to take you on a tour of my garden so first up we've got the trellis bed here and um i showed you last time the garlic was like just barely coming up and you can see it's definitely growing I'm so glad I was worried that the garlic bulbs were rotting in the ground with you know all the rain we get in the winter but they're coming up they look beautiful I've got a whole row all along here um, I did come through with some gloves and I just turned um, the top layer of compost here just to try to disrupt the weeds a little bit. You can definitely see the weeds are still in here, but I just wanted to disrupt their growth a little bit. Um, so the garlic's doing great in the, the bed over here. So I've got two side-by-side -side beds here. Um, up by the trellis, I planted snow pea seeds. Um, and so I'm going to just grow them in that bed over there. And then I'm going to leave this bed for just cucumbers. I want tons of cucumbers. That's my plan. So we'll see. Um, there is a uh, night of freezing weather in the forecast for next week. Um, a forecast isn't a guarantee. It's just a forecast. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I think the snow peas will be okay. So I sowed some seeds. I definitely have plenty of seeds. So if this batch doesn't make it, I can plant more. Um, but hopefully... You know, come March when I do another video, we'll see some snow peas over here. But yeah, garlic is coming up. It looks great. So here we got the cabbage patch up by the house. And the cabbage patch is doing pretty well. I'm really, I need to watch more videos about growing Brussels sprouts. Because honestly, I'm just not sure. So the cabbages are up here in the front. You know. This one especially, right in the middle, I just love it. This one in the middle is like the perfect looking cabbage. Um, but the ones in the back here are my Brussels sprouts. 
and I'll bring you in close. I'm just um, not really sure when to harvest them. Um, but they're, they're growing. So here we're up close to the Brussels sprout and you can see them in there. And it's like, should I be harvesting it now? Probably. I mean, they look pretty awesome. And then if I come over here, you can see on this one, they're kind of growing out. So like, you know, I think I definitely need to take that off there. That's not a Brussels sprout anymore. <laughs> That's like a whole nother plant. Um, yeah, so I need to do some research on these guys, but this is the cabbage that is like so pic picturesque, this one. Down here is my, well, more of my brassicas. I've got cabbage and kale and broccoli, a couple more Brussels sprouts. It's mostly kale. Um, and they're still hanging in there, which is fantastic. So you can see with the lighter green that there is a little bit of new growth. So nice dark green leaves and then in the middle here it's a super bright green. So I got new stuff, new leaves growing on here which is great. Um, I came out and I've been spraying this with neem oil and you can see no aphids. Something is still eating this, but look at this. This is not covered in aphids, you guys. Holy cow. I'm going to have to spray them again tomorrow. Maybe tonight. But yeah, see, new growth. So, I haven't been coming out and getting leaves because I want this... It's There hasn't been enough sunlight and whatnot for these things to be growing. So I wanted to it to keep its leaves so it could keep harvesting sunlight um, but we're we're getting longer days you know so I'll be able to come out and harvest more leaves I did sow garlic all in here as well um, in little patches there's a patch right here see that garlic garlic um, they're just in little random patches here where there was room yeah, this is still going, going strong, full of weeds growing on the compost. And of course it stops there and then there's nothing back that way. In my two main beds here that get the most sunlight, of course the sun's behind a cloud now. <laughs> um, these two cabbage plants here are still going strong. And that one back there, I'm pretty sure is giving me two maybe even three separate heads of cabbage in fact let's come in for a closer look wow look at that this is beautiful there's one head right here and then this could potentially be a second and this looks like another one for me here but yeah this one is of course looking like a pretty well formed head on there um and then i've got patch of garlic, patch of garlic, patch of garlic, um, so yeah, the garlic's coming up and I'm really, really happy about that. So on the other side here, um, I've got patches of garlic throughout here as well, um, but my plans for this bed involve um, bringing out some new seedlings of lettuce, arugula, um, planting zucchini here um, and so this bed will be populated um, once we're past all the danger of frost 
So right now the only thing that's going to be growing in here is the garlic that I sowed. I'm up in the front yard here and this is where I'm most excited because right now the signs of life are right here. These are my tulips. Not that, <laughs> but this is part of a tulip. And that might be helping to keep it warm. But I got tulips. I got, oh, you can't see that off to the side. Tulips here. I got daffodils in the back too starting to pop up. And I got tulips here. Tulips here. And they're just going to be beautiful. Oh gosh, I just got a glimpse of some more all along here see more back here look here 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 here, here. oh my gosh this is going to be great but it's not just here in the front bed by the driveway but i planted some more over there in the side bed too so let's go look at those cuz they're they're popping up too so I put some up here in the front bed on either side of this bush. You can see one there, one over there, that bright green. Look at that leaf. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, so I got tulips coming up here. But when I saw this patch right here, ooh, yeah. So this is gonna be really pretty. Having some, some tulips here in this side bed. My hydrangea's getting some buds on it. See that red bud? Cute little fresh growth on here. Green tip. Why are you not focusing? <laughs> uh, but my hydrangea and my roses over here. Um, so this will be this will be really pretty. I'm excited. What is up with the sun? I sit back down and it comes out. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, February is too early to bring seedlings out in the garden. Um, usually around here, we can expect frost um, even into March. Um, so seedlings won't be coming out until like mid-March at the earliest. Um, although I am trying to get some of my onions ready to come out because they can handle colder weather. Um, but they're just not there yet. So most of our vegetables and, and, um, leafy greens and things we can eat, um, are all still inside. So I'm going to show you that really quickly. Um, what I've got going on inside. Uh, some things have, most things have made it. Other things did not. Um, one thing that did not make it was the cotton. Uh, the cotton was coming up and looking really promising and then I transplanted them into larger containers and then they shriveled up and died. So I replanted some cotton and this time I'm just starting them off in the larger containers. Maybe they're just super sensitive to being transplanted and they don't like it. So whoopsie. <laughs> Um, but my, uh, tomatoes, broccoli, kale, lettuce, dill, cilantro, like everything else is doing great. Um, the onions took a while to germinate. The peppers took a really long time to germinate and still not all of them have. The thyme and the rosemary never came up. So I just, maybe those seeds are just too old. Um, 
but for the most part, <laughs> uh, the seed starting was successful. There are just a few things that didn't quite work out or I'm still learning how to work with them, like cotton. Uh, last year was my first time growing cotton, um, so I still have a lot to learn. Um, but tomatoes, I've grown those a lot. Um, garlic is like super easy. You put it on the ground and it does its own thing. <laughs> um, so there are things that um, are pretty simple to handle. But let me show you what I got going on inside. <laughs> 